But there were some funny people that I ran into when I was a kid. One in particular that I met because from a very early age, my father would take me with him to the pool hall in this little town where I grew up. And this guy was generally around the pool hall most of the time. Now, this pool hall, I don't know if you've ever been in an old pool hall. It's, it's dark. It's got one of those tin ceilings. Got an old Coke box over in the back that's got beer in it, but don't tell anybody. <laughs> and uh, the pool tables are pretty ratty. Don't really get used that much. Mainly, it's just old guys sitting around in there. I mean, I thought it was like a club. You got to be an old guy to hang around the pool hall. But I was a little kid, and I got to go in there, and I felt special. <laughs> but there was one guy in there, and he taught me my first joke. And this first joke was, you ask the question, how do you catch a squirrel? The answer is, climb up a tree and act like a nut. <laughs> now, I was uh, five, six years old, and I found that I could kill him with this joke. Every time, the same joke, it didn't matter. The old guys would just crack up. <laughs> and this fellow would always give me the straight line when I walked in, because that's the kind of guy he was. Now, this was an interesting fellow. And that pool hall is gone now. And that's, that's sad, because it, it was a very nice place for me as a little boy. For instance, this, this old fellow I'm going to tell you about would always buy me a Yoo-Hoo. Familiar with that drink at all? You who? Little chocolate drink? He would buy them, although he thought they were the most horrible thing in the world, and he couldn't understand how I could drink them. This is from a man who drank Dr. Tishner's antiseptic. <laughs> <laughs> but the pool hall is gone. King's Hardware Store next door is gone. Old Bodkoff Bank is gone. <clears throat> the store where a Korean guy named Charlie used to sell hamburgers is gone. But whenever I'm at home and I walk down that street, I can still kind of hear him, you know? I can hear him say, Hey, boy, how you catch a squirrel? Huh? Climb up a tree and have my nut. <laughs> That's a good one, boy. That's a good one. Come here and sit down. Get you a yoo -hoo. Go on. Give this boy a yoo -hoo. <laughs> Catch a squirrel. Boy, that's a, that's a funny joke, boy. That's a funny joke. Give a boy a yoo -hoo. Well, I'll pay for it. Well, I'll pay for it. It's only a dime. I'm good for a dime. Well, the hell with you? <laughs> How much do I owe you? Well, I, I never owe you that much. I'll pay you next week. <laughs> Give the boy a yoo-hoo. Well, you can kiss my ass. You can jump that high. <laughs> <laughs> He'll give you a yoo-hoo. <laughs> I tell y'all about the time in the war. I wasn't in the war. <clears throat> I wasn't in the war. I was in the oil field. That's an essential civilian uh, job. You know, I didn't have to be in the Army. I'd have been in the Army. They'd have wanted me. <clears throat> I was working in there. My granddaddy, you know, he used to work on the railroad out west. His job was to uh, threaten a Chinaman with an axe handle. <laughs> it was. He told me all about the Chinaman. He told me about them Irishmen, too. He told me, he said, don't threaten the Irishman with the axe handle. Boy, I'll take it away from you and whoop your ass. <laughs> <laughs> so I was working on a rig down Gulfport, and, and this old boy from up here was out there. And uh, he's in the Navy, and I went down there, you know, and I was, I was, I was going around with him. And he, got, he picked a fight with a bunch of Chinese because he thought they were Japanese. <laughs> I said, man, them Chinese ain't Japanese. I know the difference. My granddaddy used to threaten them with an axe handle. <laughs> <clears throat> they beat him up bad. <laughs> and I didn't do a damn thing because I ain't getting in no fight with no Chinese. <laughs> Japanese was different. It was a war, but they was Chinese, and I could tell the difference. <laughs> Told the shore patrol he got hit by a car, so he wouldn't get in trouble. <laughs> it was hard times during the war, boy. Hard times during the war. I was working on a rig one time. This is after the war. <laughs> <laughs> up in Wyoming. Wyoming. I was up there on the rig. It was the dead of winter. We were out in a place, didn't have no name. A name would have been wasted on this place. <laughs> I don't know where the hell it was. 
three days east of water. Now, I'm telling you, boy, you get up there in Wyoming in the wintertime, there ain't a damn thing between you and the North Pole but a barbed wire fence. <laughs> Cold. The wind was blowing. The wind was blowing so damn hard that it was the, shaking the whole rig. It's like the rig was shivering. It was so cold. <laughs> and I come down off of that platform, and I met the driller coming up. I was going down. He's coming up. He said, where are you going? I said, I'm going to get my hard hat. He said, where'd you leave it? I said, Odessa, Texas. <laughs> and I ain't been back to Wyoming, boy. <laughs> You, how's your Uncle Joe doing? How's he doing? I ain't seen him in I don't know when. Is he doing all right? He's a fine fella. Makes some real good whiskey. Real good. I hear he had trouble with hobos stealing it. That's a damn shame. Well, <clears throat> one time I had a jug of your, of your uncle's whiskey. I was, down, I was down fishing on Crooked Creek. And I was sitting there, I was, I was fishing. I had a little jug of the whiskey. I'd take a drink every now and then. And I'd run out of bait. So they're gone, I'm gonna have to go home. And then, and then I look down, and here comes a snake. He's swimming along. Got a fog in his mouth. I said, well, I'll be done. This, this, is, this is an opportunity. So I reached down and I grabbed that snake. And I was trying to get that frog, because I can use that for bait. Snake can get him another frog. I want this frog. <laughs> <laughs> that sucker wouldn't turn loose. He had that frog, man. He wouldn't turn loose. I don't know. So I got to your uncle's uh, whiskey jug. And I poured just a little trickle of whiskey in that snake's mouth. And he went, Pleh! spit that frog out. So I throwed the snake back in the creek, and I got the frog, and I went on to fishing. I'm fishing there a little while. I feel something pulling on my pants leg. I look down there. There's that snake. He brought me another frog. <laughs> good whiskey. <laughs> Better believe it is. But we don't, now boy, when I tell you that story, you know, I'm not advocating that. Because don't, don't get into it, because it's a bad mess. I got into trouble sometimes over drinking, and, 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 and it's bad. I just got back out of, out of up there, and the, well, no, I wasn't in the jail. No, no, I wasn't in the jail, because the sheriff, you know that sheriff is a mean man. He got a heart of stone, and, and you cannot make a scratch upon it rested me. All I was doing was taking a nap on the hood of his car. <laughs> but he didn't send me to jail. He's progressive. Sent me up to El Dorado to the detox. That's an amazing thing. They dry you right out. And they give me this little bottle of pills. It's these are amazing pills, boys. You take one of these pills, you take them, and they make you allergic to alcohol. <laughs> well, I'm allergic. You can't even use Aftershave lotion, because it's got alcohol in it. Make you sick now, bad sick. Them damn things work, if you take them. <laughs> well, whiskey will get you in trouble. It, it got old Shotgun Watson in trouble. You remember, you know Shotgun Watson, he's a bad drinker, a mean, mean drinker. He got to drinking one day, and he went down to the paper mill in Spring Hill. And he said he's gonna stand there at the gate and he's gonna make him a list of everybody's name that he can whoop. And he started writing down people's names. He was writing them down. I can whoop you, I write your name down. I can whoop you, I can whoop you. Real, being real annoying. Finally, this big fella come walking over to him and he said, buddy, I don't think you can whoop me. Well, shotgun, he looked at him and he said, oh, you don't, huh? He said, no, I don't. He said, well, then, by God, I'll cross you off the list. <laughs> Shotgun's a mean drinker, but he ain't dumb. <laughs> Not a stupid man. What time is it, boy? Oh, hell, I gotta be going. I got places to go. Oh, yeah, I gotta go over to the grocery store. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. They're blowing out the, the day old bread. <coughs> I gotta be going. <coughs> now, boy, you be a good boy. You like that yoo-hoo? I'll pay you next week for that yoo-hoo, all right? <coughs> now, you be a good boy, all right? You remember me when you grow up now, don't you? 
Yeah, yeah, I know you will. <laughs> hey, how you catch a squirrel? <laughs> Shoot, that's a good one. <laughs> Climb up the tree.